Hey everyone, I just want to start this video out with a quick story. The other day, I was just driving along, and my pedal went straight to the ground. So, I immediately thought that one of my clutch lines had broken. Uh, the unfortunate part is I was on my way to work, so I had to like maneuver my way to get to work. But I had the, after work, after my shift was over, I had the car towed home, and I'm like looking to find out what the issue is. I didn't see any hydraulic fluid anywhere or any clutch fluid anywhere. Uh, so I went and I just re, re -bled the clutch. I put more fluid in and I drove it and it seemed fine. As soon as I got to the end of my street though, the clutch went straight back to the ground. Luckily, I still had enough speed to turn around and get back as soon as I pulled into my driveway. I look under my car and there's a stream of fluid coming out of my transmission. So you know what that means. My slave cylinder went for my clutch and I have to get that replaced. It's a pain in the ass, but I still have to do it. However, I did take the opportunity, since I'm going to be pulling out the bell housing and everything for the transmission, uh, might as well upgrade to a short shifter while I'm at it. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we have to take off the shift knob. Mine's a bit longer here. So we got that off. I have a little adapter, which I have to take off too, which is not going to be easy. I might have to grab my strap wrench. Uh, almost. Nope. <laughs> Wait. Yep. All right. There we go. Additionally, what you can also do, because we're going to have to come up here anyway, is pop this entire thing off here. What you need to do for that is literally just take your hand, push this down on here a little bit, take your hand and grab this and pull straight up and it will come right off just like that. Then all you have are these two clips for your seat warmers if you have them and just take those off and we're now inside. All right, so now that we're under the car, basically the first thing you're gonna have to do under here is there's six of these guys here. They are little 10 millimeter nuts or 10 millimeter bolts. There's one point, one point here, one here, one, let's see where you at, one down, here, one all the way down here, in the same place on the opposite side. So one up top, one there, and then one down on the back. Once you get that, then you can slide this forward a bit. Now, if you want, you can take out the drive shaft. We're not gonna do that. I'm just going to unbolt it and push it back a little bit. As then we'll have a little bit of play. Then is right back. Let's see if I can get the camera back here. Alright, so I can get the camera back here, but I cannot get my hand back here. Uh, oh, no way. There you go. Alright, so once we're back here, you have to take this bolt out. And then there's two clips up on the transmission that we'll have to take off so we can get off this entire assembly here. Uh, it's a little tight, but we can do it because the clips don't really require anything but a flathead to prime out. Uh, so yeah, I'll get back to you once that's done. Alright, so now basically how this works is you can take out one of three bolts either on the transmission side or on the uh, drive shaft side because side, you have this little buffer right here uh, which absorbs a lot of the shock uh, between this so you don't get like a harsh juju each time you go to hit the gas pedal. But you have three bolts. My transmission side bolts came out a lot easier than the drive shaft side bolts so there's three basically arranged in like a Y pattern, so one here, one here, and one here. Once you take those out, all you have to do is slide it back just a little bit, and it drops down. So now, and we have this drop down and out of the way, we actually have access up here to the bolts for the, uh, for the uh, shifter. So once you have access up here, there's, I already took it out. There's this guy here. And there's a little clip over here which you just have to push out. Uh, once you push that out, this will slide right out. 
once that slides out, then you're able to just pull that down and out of the way. Once that's out of the way, you just have two more bolts. This one here, and then one on the opposing side. They're both 10 mils. When we get those out, then theoretically we should be able to pull the shift knob or the shifter straight out. So we'll see how that works out. Alright, so taking out those two bolts, release this, and after you get this off, if you get inside and give a nice little push down on top of this, it should come right out. Now, all we need to take off of this are these bearings right here, and they're nice and lubed up. Well, I guess these are less of bearings, more of something to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. But, uh, theoretically, all we should have to do is just apply a bit of down pressure. Yep, there it goes. Comes right off. Now, how am I going to get this off here? Uh, once we get this off of here, it should be able to, looks like these are just, yeah. These are just big O-rings, so you can pull it right off. Uh, and then we'll transfer this over to the new ball. Uh, it looks like mine is still decently lubed, uh, and I don't have any. But you're definitely going to want some type of grease to put on this uh, if yours is dry, just so it's not sticking. Uh, but yeah, we're going to transfer this over to the other one and put it in. Okay, so it's fully installed. All you had to do after you tighten those two brackets was continue and put the other part on with the washers. It just varies from car to car. Uh, like I had to just use five out of the six washers that they sent. But uh, once you do that, it's going to be on there. Uh, and then all you really have to do is slip this back over uh, and put your knob on. But I'm just going to show you a bit of the adjustments. So you have this locking nut here uh, that will set the height for it to stay at. So I just used a crescent wrench. Uh, this is like midway. So this all the way all the way low brings it down to like here. And it's like dit, 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 dit. it's real it's a really short shift. Uh, but I didn't like that. I set it to this height, which I think is the one I'm gonna like, so I'm gonna test it out here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it, so I'm actually gonna hook everything up. So I'm going to plug my seat warmers back in, plug my seat warmers back in, bring this down, push it down, lock it, that's about right for me, and there you go, and just so you can see the shifts, first, <laughs> that's first, that's second, third, fourth, fifth sixth it's I think the amount of travel you have is probably about that's how much travel you have so about three inches of travel which is not a lot at all uh, you can literally just go straight through oh I keep knocking you you can literally just go straight through all the gears yeah really simple <laughs> and then reverse still all the way to fuck over here but that's not there's not really much you can do to fix that but yeah that's everything so i wanted to thank you for watching don't forget to like the video if you liked it subscribe to see more and give me a comment down below something that you want to see or tell me something in the comments if you want peace i'll see you in the next one